Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today let's learn something really important for beginners, how to identify a transistor easily. First of all, what is a transistor? You know, transistor is a tiny electronic component with three pins, and it works like a switch or amplifier. But when you take a transistor out from an old circuit board or buy it without a package, you might not know which pin is base, collector, or emitter. So here's a simple way to identify it. Check the part number. Every transistor has a part number printed on its flat side. For example, just Google the part number plus pin out, and you'll find its data sheet or images showing which pin is base, collector, and emitter. Using a multimeter. Set your multimeter to diode mode. Hold transistor flat side towards you, pins down. Connect multimeter positive probe to middle pin. Touch negative probe to left pin. You will see a voltage drop. Usually 0.6 to 0.7 voltage. Touch negative probe to right pin. Again you will see a voltage drop. If both these readings show it's an NPN transistor, and middle pin is base. Connect multimeter negative probe to middle pin. Touch positive probe to left pin. You will see voltage drop. Touch positive probe to right pin. You will see voltage drop. Both these readings confirm it's a PNP transistor. Identifying collector and emitter. Most transistors are arranged as left collector, middle base, right emitter. But not always. That's why datasheet is important. If you don't have a datasheet here's a trick. Emitter to base junction shows slightly higher voltage drop than collector to base junction. So, measure both. The one with slightly higher reading is emitter. Using a transistor tester. If you have a component tester like LCRT4 tester, just insert the transistor, press test, and it will show type and pinout clearly on the screen. Important tips. Don't test transistors in circuit, remove them first. Wrong connection can damage your transistor when powering up. Always check datasheet for maximum voltage and current ratings before using it in a circuit. If you learned something new, make sure to like and subscribe. And hit that bell so you never miss an update. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. See you in the next video. Take care.